All right, I have sanded the primer on the Adams Family cabinet now, and we'll look at it really quick, and we'll just talk about where we're at, right? So we've sanded all the guide coat off of the primer, and by doing that, we have a nice straight uh, grain-free finish. So the next thing I'm going to want to do with this is I'm going to want to blow it off, and that's going to blow all the dust and debris off of the surface and out of all the little cracks and valleys of the cabinet. Then I'm going to wipe it down. I do that with a chemical cleaner to get all the fine dust off of there and to help further prep it for the paint. And with it wiped down, I'm then going to blow it off and tack it off, and that's going to get any kind of little lingering pieces of lint or anything off of the surface. Then I'm going to spray a black base coat on there. I'm going to let that set for probably 15 minutes. And then I'm going to clear coat the cabinet. And at that point, then it's going to be black. It's going to be a black cabinet. So that's, that's what our next step is. Uh, all right, so the Adams Family cabinet is chemically cleaned. It's been blown and tacked off. That means taking this little sticky rag with a blower and blowing all the little you know, cracks and crevices out so that dust doesn't blow out of there into the paint job. And then the final step before I start painting it will be just to take the tack rag itself and just kind of wipe the entire surface off one more time. So next step will be spraying the black base coat and then clear coating it. And then after that, you should see a nice black shiny cabinet. All right, here's the Adams Family cabinet painted and clear. This has been clear with the Mac Clear. And, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot to show or say about the cabinet itself, but I will talk about the clear coat choices because each cabinet uses um, its own version of clear coat separate from what's put on the play field. And we'll talk about that real quick. All right, so here are the clear coats. So this is the clear coat that was put on the play field, and this is the clear coat that was put on the cabinet. This is a full gloss traditional clear coat. This is a matte clear coat. The reality of that though is that these are actually the same clear coats, but this one has an additive that makes it cloudy and flattens it. How much of that additive I put in there determines how glossy it will be. I like a semi-gloss look on most of my cabinets. I don't want them to be too glossy, so I usually go with like a 40% matte, 60% uh, gloss ratio, and that seems to work well. But if I want it to be more glossy, I would use less additive. If I want it to be flatter, I would use more additive. And um, when we look at it in a real-world setting, here's the play field that we cleared in full gloss. And you can see... You know, it hadn't been sanded and polished or anything yet, but it's it's full gloss and it's very glossy. Here's a cabinet uh, that's a little bit further along than the Adams Family cabinet as far as curing goes, and it has a matte clear on it. And you can see it's reflective. You know, if you look closely, you can see my hand reflecting in it, just like you would a mirror or or you know something else that's reflective. But um, that shine, that gloss, it isn't so in your face. It's not. It's not casting reflections everywhere of every light of every little thing. And we like that look for our cabinets because that's more correct. Um, you know, shiny glossy play fields, there's nothing wrong with that. that. That's a good thing. But shiny glossy cabinets, mm, not so much. Not for me, not my taste. I can do that. And, you know, sometimes people want that. But uh, if left to my own devices, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a nice semi gloss finish on there. That's what I like. So um, that's pretty much it for the Adams Family cabinet for today, and that'll dry, and then it should be ready to decal uh, in the coming days.